Right, I'm carrying on down the hill, like I have videoed over the years. Like I said, a year ago, I went up this way. The farmhouse is back there. No dogs to greet me this year. Um, no. Nice and quiet. I, further over, I noticed a great big beef herd. Plus those panda type cows, the black and white, with like a white middle and black on the pandas, they look. That like a big, big beef herd. There was a, a, a person on a horse with a very luminous jacket on, they sort of disappeared, they never came up the bridle path. But that has been made into a bridle path now. I mean a real one. For horses as well. There's a lot more horses coming up here than ever. Mm. And that's... It's funny how things can change almost overnight, night really. Because I've been going, doing this track for 10, 12 years. I've never known it, horses to come up there before. I've never, no sign of them. It might be something to do with the lockdown, the restrictions. Horses aren't getting exercise like they normally do, so they've opened up areas for them. I wondered if that was a police person on a horse because they had the bright luminous top on, like the police wear. I didn't see it disappear, but it obviously didn't want to wait. It does make you wonder, though, about this virus. I mean, it must be true that it's killing people. If nurses wouldn't lie about a thing like that, I don't think. It's not a big conspiracy. But it, it has enabled some sculpturing and changes to be made to how people live their lives now. You know, it's um, put some people out of business completely. It might change hospitality forever. Um, the pubs have been dying anyway. To be quite honest, I mean, you can't drive there unless somebody goes without a drink. Um, the village pub won't get the, the customers it used to in the past, so they probably can't even survive. They were the L houses for the farm labourers in the past. Pubs weren't um, for like the, the guppy people in the past. They were ale houses. <sighs> With cheap beer for the workers and all that. Do you know what I mean? They changed. They'd been taken over. They were turned into wine bars, restaurants. And of course, it's all collapsing. I don't know if it'll ever recover. So, once again, Sometimes an event can change the meat dress dramatically. I can remember when you used to be able to go up there. I've come down through some of these fields before, but they're private now. These orchards have sprung up. Once it was just one field and now they're everywhere. But they do look after their trees, I must admit. I did a really good video last summer of the orchard. Um, and how they've nurtured and how I've watched these trees grow from little tiny saplings. And I see that there's a little way there that possibly an animal once took, or a human once. But they've barbed wired it over. 
fresh green barbed wire keeping people out. I noticed that. They make it green so it, you can see it easier, I think. <sighs> yeah, so, like I said, I took a risk once when I was right at the top there because I had to get away quickly from a load of cows that were following me who had calves. I didn't really know where I was going. I ended up in somebody's forest. And I, I remember on two occasions it happened. And once I came out through big gates, fortunately the gates were open, I could get out. But even then I thought, God, what about if there were dogs? You know? So, yeah, I tried, I tried not to take too many risks. But looking over there now, I don't expect to pick it up with the camera. It's like a haze of apple trees. You know, and they're all hanging on because you can still get quite sharp frosts. That could destroy a crop if it came out now. But, yeah. I've got pictures and videos of here before they were all like this here. Yeah, I've been videoing since quite a while back. Stillness. Absolute peace. Lovely, isn't it? I always say to people, if you don't want to hear me, you can turn the volume down. But of course, the video, the camera won't be very good photography. I'm, I'm very jumpy. I try to remind myself to hold the camera steady. Because <sighs> gates are shut now. See, how would I have got out if they'd been shut before? You know what I mean? I'd have to over the barbed wire. I'd have to plow through here and then got over the barbed wire. Which I have done before now. Not here, but I've found ways of getting over barbed wire now. They've definitely re-fenced it though. Been some lot of work going on in the lockdown. Yeah. There's the gates. Like I said, I came out through there once. And there's a little pathway there. I don't know whether... I expect that is private, but... In one of my more adventurous minds, I'd be over there having a look, you know. Look at that view. Greeks you when you come round. And it'll get prettier and prettier as the... Spring arrives, definitely. That would be so colourful in a few months' time. And here we've got Woodlands Farm. And I have, like I said, I've videoed it quite a few times, but never in a Covid lockdown. <coughs> Last year I walked up it. And I've been down it last year. I've done both. It's one of those walks that if you wanted to do a day walk, and I've still got a long way to go to get back to Western, I know that. I'm just taking my time. I mean, what would be nice would be able to know I could walk. See across there, there's a track. Come out down there somewhere. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in here because I've got to go through some fields over there. I'm just gonna see if there's any cows out. From here you can normally see there's a farm I've got to go by, and there's some fields I've got to climb up in. Can't see any cows at the moment. There's a farm. It might be a cow. Might not be. <sighs> 
somebody walk in there with a dog? Those are the fields I've got to go in. Looks all right. It was just out of curiosity, really, whether I could get out there, you know. Just curiosity whether it would lead down to the road. That's a dangerous road to walk along there. I'll just take a few pictures while I'm here. Right, I'm down by Fish Lake Fisheries where people can come and catch their own fish. There's the old um, farm that I passed earlier. I think that's the new feature, that big window. And they've got like a little hut thing in the garden as well. But the, I think that big window's new. Lovely though, isn't it? Lovely views they've got from up there, actually. It's quite a big homestead. I mean, that's a big house. And that's pretty big as well, by the look of it. I walked down beside it earlier. <coughs> There's all the orchards, the apple trees. This scene will change. Quite often you can't always see the house so much as the trees start to blossom. Up there you've got the donkey farm, um, Helland Hill, Bleeding Hill, and then in front of us we've got um, Brent Knoll. And now we're, I'll do a little video. Quite often they have sheep in here, little sheep dung. And um, I go through a little gate over a little bridge and down onto the valley, not far from the River Axe. The River Axe that goes to Cheddar comes off the Mendip Hills. That's a lovely scene though, this isn't it? And I've, I've that's the Roman road runs along the very top of there that I've done. I've walked it, cycled it. There's no bus route there. And these these fields would transform as spring comes and they get greener and get their flowers and all that. But up here, men can come fishing. There's a lake up here. Nothing private in it. I got a feeling it was up for sale once. But so those old fa that <coughs> farm there, that's a very old farm over there. You can tell really by the roofs, the slates, the layout. And that would have been a hill fort up there at Ship Lake. That would have been a hill fort up there, definitely. Just looks like one, doesn't it? Powerful position. There would have been lots of tribes. There will be somebody who's written all this down, by the way. But, uh, yeah, there will be lots of little tribes, all looking after their interests, having their own animals. Oh, yeah, the sheep are in here. I've seen that little farm over there expand over the years. That little farm, that little farm over there. New buildings, new outbuildings. Maybe they were barns once when converted. He has a lovely view, look at it. Look at that, and I was right. Oh, just zoom in right up the top there. There's a tree, I don't know if there's some people, but right up there. Yeah, I was right up on that. Climbed up that hill with past the bushes there. Past the farm. Came from Hutton and walked through the woods. Partly through the woods. That is definitely, I get it, it's dominant. It's definitely hill for it, isn't it? it? Really is. I've been in it. <coughs> I've been on it. It's not, it might be recorded as a hill for it. I've got no idea. I'm sort of making up my own decision about that, but, um, it probably is one of the many hill forts. They were very popular in Somerset. <coughs> and I'm just make I'm hoping they haven't shut off this area, by the way. <laughs> otherwise, you can you can get through the farm. Otherwise, um, those sheep are fenced off there. 
Yeah, it's down the bottom here. Usually there is a gate. It's a public right away. And I've been doing this route now for quite a few years. And I can still do it. I ain't old yet. I ain't even 70. I think you've got to keep going, really. Seems to me it's the way to survive and to kill the bug. Any bug. is get out in the fresh air. Look at the power of these hills, though. Look at it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that scene there. Back to the house again. That's a, just a reference point, really. I have lots of reference points, and that house is one. It's gorgeous. Yeah, they've got a new feature. That big window's new. That there. That's a new feature. Wealthy farmers, aren't they? Growing the apples for the cider. <sighs> Western donkeys live up in the fields there. They're not working at the moment. Don't know when the donkeys will be back out. <sighs> yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful area. And it's not far from where I live, really. I live over the other side of the hill. That's all. I just came down that road over there. There's a road over there. Oh, I'm going to stop here because it's a nice, really nice view I can get from here. Over and out.